Hi everyone, Nicole Scheffner here, bringing you a new yoga flow on Genesis Go. Uh, for today's class, you will just need a mat or a clear space to work. Uh, you can grab a chair if the hamstrings tend to be tight, or even just having access to a wall that you can use for support is a good option. Uh, this will just be a well-rounded class that will get you loosened up and hopefully give you a fresh mindset to continue on with your day. We'll get started. Finding a comfortable seat. That can be whatever position feels good for your body right now. If that means that you're sitting like this, that's okay. It doesn't have to look the way mine does. Uh, but finding a spot where your shoulders can rest on top of the hips the ears can rest on top of the shoulders. Chest and chin can soften away from one another. Begin to notice the sensations that take place as you breathe in and as you breathe. Notice as you breathe in what areas lift and expand. And as you breathe out, what areas soften and release. I'm not trying to change anything or emphasize anything about the way you're breathing. Just noticing here as you breathe in. Continuing to notice as you breathe out. On the next breath, then begin to sweep the arms up, roll the shoulders open, look toward the hands. Exhale, bring the hands down to the heart. Timing this with the breath, begin breathing in, the arms sweep up. At the height of the inhale, the hands come together, and then as you exhale, the hands slowly descend. Bottom of the exhalation, the hands come to the heart. One more time, smooth breath in, sweeping the arms up. And as you exhale, bringing the hands down toward the heart. And from here, take the right hand beside you, look toward the right hand, reach the left arm over, reach the left shoulder away from the left hip, continue to press both sitting bones down into the mat. You can continue to look toward the right hand or turn to look underneath the left arm. Feeling the left side of the neck lengthen, allowing the jaw to soften, breathing here. Bend the top arm, bring the shoulders upright. Breathe in, sweep both arms up, look up. Hands come down toward the heart. Coming to our other side, taking the left hand beside you, looking toward the left hand as you reach the right arm over, reaching the right shoulder away from the hip, continuing to look toward that left hand, or turning to look underneath the right arm, feeling the right side of the neck lengthen, allowing the jaw to soften, and breathing here. Bend the top elbow, bring your shoulders upright. Take a breath in, sweep both arms up, look up. Hands come down toward the heart. All right, from here, let's come on to hands and knees, a tabletop position. Start warming up the legs, the shoulders, hands are underneath the shoulders, fingers spread, and all of the knuckles press down onto the mat. Shins go straight back, toes go straight back, the back is flat. From here, allow your back and your abdomen to sink down toward the mat. Breathe in as you look forward, moving through our cat-cow. Exhale, round the back, look toward the thighs as you reach the spine up. Keep pressing down through the hands, elbows, stay straight. And settle into your neutral spine, flat back position. Step your right foot back, ball the right foot is down, heel is up. We're going to stretch into the calves, pressing into the hands reaching through the right heel. Feel the top of the right thigh press toward the ceiling to help take some pressure off of the shoulders. 
looking toward a space in between the hands so the neck can stay long. Take another breath here. Nice. Lower the right knee down. Curl both toes, lift the sets of toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Looking toward the legs, maybe keeping the knees bent for the first few rounds if the hamstrings are tight, or being to press the tops of the legs away from the torso to stretch through the backs of the legs. Sides of the neck are long, ears hang between the upper arms. Take a breath here. Shift forward, lower both knees down toward the mat. Bring the knees wide, big toes come together, child's pose sitting back toward the heels. Arms can walk forehead forward, forehead can rest on the mat. Let the front of the ribs soften onto the thighs. Take a breath in, feel the back expand and lift. Allow the air to release completely on the exhale. Come forward, hands and knees. Palms are flat, elbows straight, knees come back underneath the hips. So again, our cat cow, letting the abdomen and the chest sink down toward the mat as you breathe in, look forward. Exhale, round the back, look toward the thighs, reach the spine up, keep pressing down through both hands. Find a neutral spine, looking between the hands. The neck is long, step your left foot back. Now we're stretching into the left calf, reaching through the left heel, pressing with the palms to assist in that stretch, and pressing the top of the left thigh toward the ceiling to activate the leg muscles. Another moment here, feeling a stretch through the back of the left leg. Lower the left knee down. Curl both sets of toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And knees can stay bent, heels can stay lifted in the first few rounds. From here you can also walk the dog out, bending one knee, reaching through the opposite heel, bending the other knee, reaching through the opposite heel. If you're walking out your dog, take one more set of steps. Leveling the body out. And from here, shift forward, lower the knees down to the mat. Bring the knees wide, big toes come together, child's pose to shift back, hips soften toward the heels. Forehead rests down on the mat. Front of the ribs soften, back expands. Full breath in. Full breath out. Come forward, hands and knees. All right, we'll start to add on to that calf stretch and warm up the shoulders further. Palms are down, fingers are spread. Step your right foot back so you're in that almost half plank position. The ball of the foot is down, the heel is up. Stretching through the calf, burping the muscles of the legs. Keep looking toward the hands. From here, lift your left knee and your left shin off of the mat. Keep pressing through the right heel, keep pressing through the palms. Activating the core, take another moment here. Slide the left foot back, full plank. Hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Stretching through the shoulders. Sides of the waist are long. Shift forward, lower the knees down to the mat. This time, bring your body all the way forward, come flat down onto the mat. Toes point straight back, hands are beside you. Elbows reach back toward the heels. Two rounds of cobra pose. Breathe in as you lift the spine. Shoulders are wide, neck is long. Lower down on the exhale. Lifting to your comfort here in the beginning. Keeping the hands light as you warm up the back. Breathe in, lengthen. Lower down as you exhale. Press up hands and knees, tabletop. Knees come wide, big toes come together, child's pose to shift back again, just taking a breath here, feeling the outside of the hips release. Coming forward, hands and knees. Let's come into the other side. Palms are flat, both knees underneath the hips, and then the left foot steps back to that half plank position. Using the muscles in the legs, reaching through the heel, 
So we're keeping the torso and the hips as level as we can, or keeping them from moving as you lift the right knee, right shin hovers off of the mat. Looking between the hands and the neck stays long. Core lifts and firms, one more breath. And right foot slides back, full plank. Hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Opening up the shoulder joints, pressing down through the hands. Elbows straight. And shift forward, lower the knees to the mat. Coming all the way forward, two rounds of Cobra Pose, lowering flat, chest and abdomen down onto the mat, hands beside you, toes point straight back. Breathe in, Cobra Pose. Back muscles are lengthening and lifting you, hands stay light in the beginning, lower down on the exhale. Again, Cobra Pose, breathe in, keep the shoulders wide, elbows reach straight back. Lower down on the exhale. Good. Press up hands and knees, tabletop. Knees come wide, big toes come together, child's pose to shift back. Last one for a bit. Feel the back of the neck lengthen as you release the forehead down. Outside of the hips, soften back. Tops of the shins relax. Come forward, hands and knees. And start moving here. Curl the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And just assessing and noticing each time you come back to the stand dog. Bend the knees, walk the feet to meet the hands top of the mat. Hands come to the shins, keep the knees bent to the beginning. Beginning, lengthen the spine, find your flat back. Looking forward so that the neck stays long, lower the abdomen to the thighs and the exhale, fold forward. Keep supporting yourself with the hands, lengthen the spine, flat back. From here, walk your hands all the way up the legs, roll the shoulders back, sweep the arms up, take a breath in. Hands come down toward the heart. All right, our sun salutations, breathe in, sweep the arms up, look up. Exhale to fold. Hands can move through the center. They can sweep back to your choice. Knees can bend here. Take a breath in. Find your flat back. Hands are either on the floor or the shins to support you. Lower the hands down. Step back. Plank pose. Keep looking between the hands. Legs are strong. Shift forward. Lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Tops of the feet. Toes point straight back. Cobra pose. Breathe in here. You begin to lengthen and lift a bit higher if that feels nice for you. Lower down on the exhale. Press up hands and knees. Curl the toes, hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Set the hands, set the feet. Inhale, reach the right leg up, three-legged dog. Step the right foot to the hands, left knee lowers. You can take multiple steps here as you lower the back knee down. Hands come to the top of the thigh, shoulders pull away from the mat. Sides the waist lengthen, breathe in, sweep the arms up. If it's hard on the back to bring the hands together, you can bring the arms more forward and keep them further apart. Hands lower down to the heart from here. Gentle twist, right hand to the thigh, left fingertips to the mat. You can walk the right foot over and out just a bit to help open up the hips. Right hand can stay on the top of the thigh to help rotate the spine, pressing down, or you can reach the right arm up. I think long through the sides of the waist, shoulders stack. Unwind from here, find your way back, plank pose. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Reset, left leg lifts, breathe in, three-legged dog. Left foot steps to the hands, right knee lowers. So we're coming back to that lunge, adjust the feet as you need. Hands can come to the top of the thigh, pull the shoulders upright. And once you set your foundation, both arms sweep. Find the hand, the arm position that works best for you. Palms can come together if it's there for you, or they can stay in front and wide. Strong in the legs. Hands lower down to the heart. 
Twisting to the other side, left hand to the top of the thigh, right fingertips to the mat. You can walk the front foot out to the side and turn it out slightly. Use the left hand to press down to help rotate the shoulders toward the left side of the room. Staying here or reaching your left arm up. Keeping the breathing smooth and steady. Both legs are active. Last breath here. Unwind. Hands come down to the mat. Plank pose. Hips lift up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Take a moment. And as you're ready, finding your way to the top of the mat. Bending the knees. Your choice. Walk or hop. Once you get there, flat back, breathe in, hands are on the floor of the shins, fold forward on the exhale, breathe in, arms sweep as you rise, palms turn up, shoulders roll open, hands come down toward the heart. Right, bring the big toes together, a little bit of space in the heels, chair pose, bend the knees, arms sweep around. So you're sitting the hips back, staying long through the sides of the waist, keeping the low back long, palms face one another. Legs are active. Make sure you can see the tips of the toes. One more breath. And exhale to fold, abdomen to thighs to release. Take a breath in, find your flat back. Step your feet back for your vinyasa. Your options here, plank, chaturanga all the way down. I'm lowering all the way down. Toes go straight back in your back bend of choice, cobra or upward facing dog. And then we'll all meet back downward facing dog, hinging at the hips, lifting the hips up and back as you press down through the palms. And to add on to that core work that we did earlier, inhale to reach your right leg up, three legged dog. Coming forward, you're staying in a plank position. Bend your right knee, shift forward, shoulders over the hand, bring your right knee to the right elbow. Reach the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Press down through the hands, reach through the right toes. One more time, bring yourself forward. Right knee bends, right knee to the right elbow, and then kick the foot forward to try to find that lunge. Lower the left knee down. Breathe in, sweep the arms up, open up the chest. And take the hands, interlace the hands behind the back. Elbows pull toward one another. You can stay here with the knuckles across the low back or reach the knuckles away from you. Roll the front of the chest open. Finding that back bend that feels nice for you today. Unwind the arms, reach both arms up, take a breath in. We're stretching the hamstrings from here, lower the fingertips down so they're on either side of the front foot. Curl your back toes, your back knee will stay bent, your back shin hovers off of the mat. Press down through the front foot so your right leg straightens or begins to straighten. You can still be here and get a hamstring stretch, but you're reaching both sides of the waist, the hips back evenly. Pressing down through the right foot, staying long through both sides of the waist. All right, from your bend your right knee as you reach through your back heel. So now you're back to that lunge. Palms plant, reach the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Lower the right foot down, fold down dog. Reset the hands, the feet. We'll go through that same series on the other side. Breathe in, reach your left leg up and back, three-legged dog. So you're coming into that plank position. Bend the left knee, shift the shoulders over the hand as you bring the left knee toward the left elbow. Reach the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Press your body back with the hands, the shoulders. Bend your left knee one more time, left knee toward the left elbow. And then to come into that lunge position, kick the foot forward, lower the back knee down, find your way up, right the arms sweep, coming into your lunge. Find that foundation. Take the hands, interlace them behind the back. Find the awkward clasp, pull the elbows, the shoulders back towards center. 
And then you can stay here with the elbows bent. You begin to reach the knuckles away from you. Lift the front of the ribs away from the mat. Nice job. Unwinds the arms. Reach up. Take a breath in. And then come into that hamstring stretch on this side. Lower the hands so they're on either side of the front foot. Curl your right toes. Right knee and shin hover off the mat, but the back knee is staying bent here as you straighten or begin to straighten the front leg. Hips shift back and into that hamstring stretch. Right leg is still working to help support you. I'm looking to the space um, just by my big toe so my neck stays long, back of the neck lengthens. All right, coming out of this stretch, bending the front knee, reaching through the right heel, back to that lunge. Then coming back, three-legged dog, left leg reaches up and back as the arms press you back. Lower the left foot down, fold down the dog. Take a moment, reset. And then bend in the knees, your choice, walk or hop, feet to meet the hands. If you're hopping, you might be a bit lighter this time around. Take a breath in, find your flat back. Fold forward to release. Breathe in, both arms sweep, come all the way up. Nice job, everybody. Hands come down to the heart. All right, so now we're going to utilize those muscles and coming into some of our balance work. Um, I'm, going to turn, I'm going to turn toward you. We're going to start in that chair position. Big toes together, a little bit of space in the heels, knees bend, arms sweep around. So you're back to your chair. Hands will come to the heart. You're staying in that chair position. Lift the right heel. Press down through your left leg. So you're zigzagging your way through space, taking the right leg with you. And from here, your left knee will bend as the hips shift back. You're coming back to the chair. Come back to that squat position. Arms sweep around. Take a breath in. Fold forward, abdomen to thighs to release. Let the top of the head relax. Lengthening through the sides of the body, the back of the neck lengthens toward the mat. Take a breath in, find your flat back. Fold forward to release. Coming all the way up, sweep the arms, roll the shoulders back, breathe in. Hands come down toward the heart. Let's do the other side. Big toes together, space in the heels, knees bend, arms sweep around the chair. Hands come down to the heart. And zigzagging your way through space here as you lift the left heel, trying to keep the left knee close towards you, and then pressing down through the right leg as you slowly find your way upright. Taking the left knee with you, finding that balance. Right knee will bend as the hips shift back. We're coming back to that chair pose. Take your time. Slow and steady. Arms sweep once you get there. Breathe in. Exhale to fold. Abdomen to thighs to release. Find the space along the back of the neck and the low back. Breathe in. Find your flat back. Fold forward to release. Breathe in, both arms sweep as you rise. Palms turn up, chest lifts. Hands come down toward the heart. Nice side body stretch. Take your right hand beside you, reach the left arm over. You're lifting the left side of your waist away from the hips, still pressing down through both feet. Either looking down toward the feet if that feels better on the neck or looking underneath the left arm. Bend the top arm, bring the shoulders upright. Other side here, left hand comes beside you, right arm reaches over, lifting the right shoulder away from the hip. And side body stretch, either looking toward the feet or underneath the right arm. Bend the top arm, bring the shoulders upright. Full breath in here, both arms sweep, feel that extra space through the sides. Hands come down to the heart. All right, step your right foot forward. Left foot will step back. 
Warrior two pose. Make sure your front toe and knees are going forward. Your front toe and knee, only one knee. Back leg is straight, toes are at a bit of an angle. Arms will reach out to the sides for warrior two. Look over the right fingertips. Breathe here. Come back to that side body stretch, extended side angle. Take your left hand to the hip. Lean forward, start with your right elbow on the top of the thigh. We'll add on to this one later. Bend your left elbow, reach your left arm all the way overhead so that your palm is down toward the mat. Lengthening the left shoulder away from the left hip, still pressing down through that back foot, either looking toward the front foot, toward the wall in front of you, or underneath the arm. One more breath here. Take the left hand to the hip, slowly pivot, lifting the back heel, find your way to plank pose. Take the right leg over the left, crossing the ankles, one tricep push-up, elbows to ribs. Straighten the arms, press the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Lower the right foot down, fold down dog. Reset, take a breath. Going backwards, bending the knees, bending the elbows, pressing and walking your body back to the back of the mat. Breathe in, find your flat back. Fold forward to release. Breathe in, sweep both arms up, look up. Hands come down toward the heart. All right, warrior two on our other side. Left foot will step forward, right foot will stay back. And making sure that the front toes and knee are pointing forward. The back leg is straight, toes at a bit of an angle. Shoulders go toward the right side of the room. Look over the left fingertips. Press down firmly through both feet. Let the jaw relax. Let's come to that extended side angle. Starting with this version and adding on right hand to the hip. Lean forward, left elbow to the top of the thigh. Bending the right arm, then reaching the right arm all the way over, straightening that side body stretch. Finding a comfortable space to look with the eyes, either toward the front foot, toward the wall in front of you, or underneath your right arm. One more breath here. Right hand will come to the hip, slowly pivot. Back heel lifts as you find your way to plank. Left ankle crosses over the right, one tricep push-up, elbows to ribs. Arms straighten, left leg reaches up and back, three-legged dog. Lower the left foot down, fold and up. Reset. And shift forward, lower the knees. Bring the knees wide, big toes come together, shift back child's pose for a breath. Forehead comes down to the mat. You can add a tricep stretch here, bringing the palms together, bending the elbows, bringing the hands either toward the ceiling or toward the back of the neck. Finding space along the back of the arms, sides of the waist. And lower the hands back down. And come forward to the hands and knees position. And grab a drink, feel free to do so as well. And we'll add on to that warrior two stance. Curl the toes first, lift the hips up and back. Feel the stand up, feel the breath move through the body. Breathe in, reach your right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, the foot comes toward the hip, reaching the knee up toward the ceiling. Make sure the hips are level as you bring the right foot through, warrior two, left heel spins. Shoulders turn toward the wall, the side of the room, look over the right fingertips. Strong in the legs. Lower the left hand, flip the right palm to reverse your warrior. The legs stay steady. And 
coming forward. That extended side angle. So you can take the version that we did earlier, elbow to the top of the thigh, or bring the fingertips down to the ground or a block. Left arm can stack on top of the right, or you can reach it all the way overhead for that side body stretch. Take another moment here. Nice pivot. Find your way back to plank. Your vinyasa, plank to chaturanga all the way down. Tops of the feet in your back bend. We'll all meet back, downward facing dog. Strong in the arms and legs. Left leg reaches up and back, three-legged dog. Opening up the hip, left knee bends, heel toward the hip, knee reaches toward the ceiling. Level the hips, bring the left foot through. Left foot plants, right heel spins, warrior two. Find your foundation, set the feet. Legs stay steady, lower your right hand, flip the left palm to reverse. Extended side angle, and taking the option, elbow to the top of the thigh or Hand can come down to the ground or block if you have access. Right arm can stack on top of the left or it can reach all the way overhead. Find where you need to be. Find a comfortable space to look with the eyes. Last breath. Right hand comes to the hip as you pivot. Find your way to plank your vinyasa. Take the version you need. Find the back bend that works for you. Downward facing dog as you're ready. Reset, take a moment. Finding your way to the top of the mat. Your option, bending the knees, walk or hop, feet to meet the hands. Take a breath in, find your flat back. Fold forward to release. Arms sweep, full breath in, and you find a back bend at the top. Hands come down toward the heart. Nice work. All right, triangle pose, stretching into the inner thighs. You'll step your right foot forward, left foot will step back. So you'll start with that warrior two stance. Hands can be on the hips here. Setting the feet up, heel to arch. Leaning forward, your option hand to the front of the shin or the thigh. You'll begin to straighten the front leg. Hips will turn slightly. Hand can stay on the shin or if you're able to bring it down to the mat at this point, you can. Turn your shoulders toward the left side of the room. Left hand can stay on the hip or left arm can reach straight up. Keep pressing down firmly through both feet. And stretch on the inside of the right thigh, back of the right thigh. One more breath. Nice job, everybody. Bring the left hand back to the hip. Bend your right knee, sweep the right arm back to reverse your warrior. Level yourself out, warrior two. And hands come to the hips. Turn both feet toward the left side of your mat. Heel to the feet in and step to the top of the mat. Breathe in, arms sweep. Hands come down toward the heart. Let's do the other side. Left foot will be forward, right foot steps back. Hands start on the hips, setting the feet in that warrior two stance. And then taking the option that works for you, hand to the thigh or the shin. This is also where you can use a wall if you need some extra support. Taking your time to begin to straighten the left leg. If you're feeling a stretch and it is not all the way straight, then you're in the right spot. That's okay. The knee does not have to straighten fully. Left hand can stay on the shin or it can come down to the mat if that's available to you. Shoulders turn toward the right side of the room. Top arm stacks on top of the left. Reaching long through the right side of the waist, keeping both sides of the neck long. 
And stretch on the inside of the left thigh, left hamstring as well. Keep pressure in both feet. To come out of this position, right hand to the hip, left knee bend, sweep the left arm back to reverse your warrior. Level the shoulders out, warrior two. Bring the hands to the hips. Turn both feet toward the right side of the mat. Heel to the things into center. And then step to the top of the mat. Take a breath in, sweep both arms up. Exhale to full arms, sweep back as you lower down. Take a breath in here, find your flat back. Step the feet back to move through your vinyasa. If you need to skip this one, you're welcome to. I'm going to lower all the way flat. You take your back bend, cobra, upward facing dog, and we'll all meet back downward facing dog. Breathe here. Shift forward, lower the knees down to the mat. Thread the needle from here. Keep your left palm down. Your arm, the knees are stacking over the hips here. Take your right arm, thread it underneath. You're going to bring the outside of the right shoulder, right side of the head down to the mat. From here, left hand can stay in front of the face to help support, or it can walk forward so it's reaching toward the top of the mat. In the back of the neck, on chin nods in toward the chest. Come out of this, so we inch the left hand closer to you. Press down through the left palm to unwind. Coming back to that hands and knees position. One round of cat cow, loosen up the back. Inhale, abdomen and chest soften down. Exhale, round the back, we look toward the thighs. Neutral spine, coming back to that flat back. Threading the needle on the other side, your right hand will stay down. Left palm turns up, sliding the left arm underneath. Outside of the left shoulder, left side of the head comes down to the mat. Right hand can stay in front of you to help support, or it can walk forward. Palm is down, reaching through the right side of the waist. Nod the chin in so the back of the neck stays long. Keep the breathing smooth and steady. Come out of this position, inch the right hand closer toward you. Press down through the right palm to unwind. Back to hands and knees one more time. Cat, cow, abdomen, chest sink down. You look forward. Exhale, round the back. Look toward the thighs as you reach the spine up. Find your neutral spine, your flat back. Let's cross over the shins from here, come to a seated position. Take one forward fold and then come on to the back to loosen up the hips a little bit further before our Shavasana. Both legs are forward, knees can be bent to the hamstrings, need extra help here. Breathe in, sweep both arms up. Exhale to fold arms, reach toward the feet, maybe they reach toward the outside of the shins, the ankles. Find space that works for you. And then through the back side of the body. Breathe here. And walk the hands back, so the shoulders stack on top of the hips. And bend the knees, come onto your back. Back here, knees bend into the chest, back of the head, shoulders rest back on the mat. Go 
low back expand as you breathe in. Feel how it presses and broadens across the mat. The body abdomen softens, the front of the chest releases that as you exhale. Keep your right knee in, straighten your left leg so the heel rests down on the mat. And hands can interlace behind the back of the thigh here. If you want to add in the hamstring stretch, you can, you can begin to reach the right foot up toward the ceiling. The knee does not have to straighten. And walk the hands up the legs, if that you know, up the leg if that works for you. And bend to the right knee. Twisting from here, left hand to the front of the knee, right hand out beside you. Bring your left, your right leg across you, going onto the outside of the left hip, outside of the left foot. Shoulders and chest stay in the direction of the ceiling. Your hand is supporting the knee. Take a breath here. center. Hug both knees in toward you. Keep the left leg in straight and the right leg. The heel rests down on the mat. You can stay here just holding the left knee in toward the body. You can interlace the hands behind the back of the leg. Begin to reach the left foot toward the ceiling. The knee can stay bent here. You'll still get the stretch with that. Or leg can begin to straighten. Hands can walk up toward the heel. Find what works for you. This is your practice. Bending the left knee if that was straightened. Take the right hand to the front of the knee, opposite hand to the knee, left hand comes out beside the mat. Bring the left leg across so you're rolling onto the outside of the right hip, outside of the right foot. Chest and shoulders are open toward the ceiling. Unwind, bring yourself back to center. Hug both knees in toward you. I'm going to reach the legs long, arms reach overhead, full body stretch at the low back arch. Shoulders lengthen away from the hips. Coming into our final Shavasana from here. Feet roll out wide toward the sides of the mat. Arms come out beside you, palms turn up. And a little bit of a bend to the elbows, the shoulders, the back of the neck can relax. Eyes softly close. I'll use the chimes when it's time to begin bringing your attention back to the room. But for now, give yourself a few minutes just to be here in the stillness. Notice the areas of the body that are touching the ground beneath you. Observe the textures and pressure through these spaces. Notice the areas of the body that are exposed to the air. Notice sensations along the skin, along the surface of the body. Notice how in these two areas, the back of the body and the front of the body, 
body change as you breathe in and as you breathe out. It's your only goal in this moment is simply watching and observing as you rest here. some motion to the hands and the feet. And bend into the knees as you're ready. Soles of the feet to the end. Roll over onto the right side of the body, right shoulder and hip rest. Take a fresh breath here. Release the hands to press the shoulders away from the mat, coming into a seated position. Eyes can stay softly closed, palms come together in front of you. And taking a breath here to observe the change you created. Allowing the shoulders, the breath to release. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your yoga practice today. For giving yourself this time and this permission to do something for you. Namaste. Thank you everyone for joining me for this practice, for letting me come into your home, for joining me for practice in mind. You can find more of the videos on the Genesis uh, Facebook page or also on our Genesis YouTube channel, Genesis Go. I hope that you will join me for some more practices and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.